Shalom. It's your brother Yael. Coming at you with a quick video. I did not plan to be before you long at all. Now I'm addressing this um, video to my brothers and sisters that are Christians. When I say Christians, I'm also speaking of those that are Messianic in nature, those that are Israelites or Hebrews. But they accept um, the New Testament as scripture. They believe in the um, Christ of the New Testament. I want to go to two passages out of the Gospel of John. The first one is John chapter 14, starting at verse 12. Matter of fact, let me start at uh, John 14. And let's start at verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Now, did you catch that, what he said? He openly declared, we know of all the great works that Yeshua, Jesus, did according to the gospel. Yeshua made it perfectly clear the works that he did. If you believe in him, you would do greater works than what he did. You were sub, you were sub, surpass the works that he have done. Now let's go to verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do that the father may be glorified in the son. Verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. What do that mean? To you as a Christian, I want you to respond to my video. I'm asking, what do that mean? Because I was a Christian myself for over 20 something years. I was an ordained minister. I have taught this message. I have heard this message taught. Name it and claim it. Um, pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever you ask for in the name of Jesus, you will get. Now, for over 200 years, our people have been calling out to the name of Jesus for deliverance and still calling out to him today. So I'm asking, what do this passage mean? Shalom.